Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another haul. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just keep finding all this good stuff, this new stuff, and then there's like tons of great clearance items and I mean, this is it's just not good for a shopaholic. I can't even I can't contain myself. So, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, first I'm going to start off with the two pairs of shoes I got because I really wanted to tell you guys before the sale's over. Um, I went to Macy's today and it's March 5th. I went today and they had so many shoes on clearance and I'm talking under $30 and under $20, a lot of them. So I picked up these shoes. They're the, by the brand Material Girl. They are originally, I don't even know, hang on. They're just these nice nude pumps and they have the nice strap here and they're just nice, simple um, and I got them just because they're a nice staple for anybody's wardrobe because they're just a nice nude color and I have no nude heels, believe it or not. Um, but these were $49 and I got them for... $12.25. They were on sale for $12.25 and I got 20% off that. They were like $9. So yeah, cannot beat that. Then I got these. These are the Jessica Simpson shoes. I always love her shoes. She has the best shoes. Um, but these were, here they are. So cute. Just the wedge booty. Adorable. I love them. They look so good on. And I got them for, let's see, they were originally $110. Okay, $110. They were 75% off, so they were $27.50. And I got them for $22. Yeah, that's a steal. Now on to the makeup products. I picked up this Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Pencil. Smoky Mechanical Pencil. Uh, I got the color green. So that's what I have on today. I just put it right here on my... Um, lid and then right here on my lower lash line and just smudged it out and it's awesome it's got this big huge smudger and then it's got this nice creamy creamy pencil and it's just really pretty super creamy and pigmented and it smudges really well so I really love this little pencil um, and then the next thing I picked up, that was at Target yesterday, the next thing I picked up was the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, you know, I only have my NYX eyebrow kit. I've never tried anything else. And I have heard a few good things about this. So this is the color medium. And um, I think that powder might be too light. But this wax seemed to work for me. And that's kind of what I'm wearing today. So I don't know if you can tell a difference. But... Um, I think I'm going to really like this. And it was only $3, so if I don't, it's not a big loss. Next, I picked up these lashes. I got the Ardell Glamour Lashes in 101 Demi. And these are just nice and thick and pretty because I'm going to be doing some tutorials and I want to have some nice glamorous lashes. And then these are the Ardell Natural in the 117, which I've never used before. Then I picked up this lip balm this is the um walgreens brand and i was like so excited to see this i don't know if it's called revo it says revo on the bottom but it just says strawberry lip balm well at walgreens i mean i don't know i don't know what the name of it is i i'm assuming revo because it says it on the bottom but it looks exactly like an eos i wish i had mine with me right now so you could see but ooh, oh my god this smells amazing Oh my god, this smells better than the EOS, and it's actually, oh my god, it looks cooler too. Look at it. How adorable. It looks like it might be less product, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can already tell. It's very moisturizing. Mm. These might be better than the EOS bombs. Oh, I can't stop smelling it. Okay. I love these. I'm going to go pick up more. I already know it. I'm excited. Next, I picked up the Fergie Wet n Wild on Edge Cream Eyeliner in Coco Riche. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I don't have, I think all my cream liners have dried out. So I'm excited to try that out. Then I picked up two Wet n Wild palettes. By the way, I got all this stuff at Walgreens. I picked up two... Um, 
it looks like they are the limited edition Wet n Wild color icon palettes. Um, this one is in Flirting at the After Party. And this one is in Walking the Red Carpet. So I thought these were nice and pretty and different and just this one's going to be really fun for the spring. And of course I'm sure they're extremely pigmented like all the Wet n Wild uh, color icon palettes are. So super excited to try those out. And they also had, okay so I think these were the only icon palettes and then they had about six different nail polishes and these are the two that really sparked my interest the other ones were like shimmery like uh, metallic y looking and I don't really do metallics very good like, I just don't think it looks good on my nails so I picked up valet tag which is a nice like um, color I, I guess it's like a brownish taupey color and then this one, which will be nice and really pretty for spring, is called Candid Affair. And it's just this nice, like, light lilac-y color. So I picked those two up. And then also, I just was going past and saw that these were on clearance for $1.62. And they were originally $6.49. So you know me, even if I don't need them, I have to get them. Um, so this one, these are the Leather, Leather Cure, C-U-I-R. Um, I guess they have, like, a leathery finish. This one is in leather skinnies, and it's just like a grayish blue, I guess. And then this one is in rock chic, and it's just a really pretty blue that I thought would be pretty for summer, spring, summer. Um, so I love those. And then I also picked up the Revlon Scented Perfume Color, and I actually have that on my nails right now. And this is in Grape Icy, so here's what that looks like. Really pretty. and. Smells really good too. So. Next, I picked up this Norvell Self Tanning Mousse, and this is in medium dark. This is what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but I absolutely love this self tanner. This tanner I got at Ulta, and I got it in the, um, like uh, right next to Saint Tropez. And the Saint Tropez, this is an eight fluid ounce bottle. It's, it's like fatter, so, cause the Saint Tropez is like thin and tall. But it is the same amount as the big bottle of the Saint Tropez. The big one for Saint Tropez is $42, something like that. This, I was so surprised to see it was only $15. So, I absolutely freaking love this self tanner. It is the bomb, like, Oh my gosh, it just is beautiful. This self tanner is what you, they use in like the Mystic Tans and the um, Versa Spas and all that stuff. And when you uh, put it on the glove and you start rubbing it in, you can smell like the Mystic Tanning Booth smell. But it doesn't smell like after you apply it. It does not have a self tanner smell. Like it's just awesome. It gets me a lot darker than the um, Saint Tropez, and I feel like. It lasts just as long, it fades just as good. So, I wanted to tell you guys about this because I know I mentioned it mentioned it in my last video and I'm just so happy that I found now it. on to the NYX things that I picked up at Ulta. Um, so apparently, I guess, I heard NYX is getting rid of their little square eyeshadows um, like these and I'm really sad about that. I'm not sure why they're doing that and I don't know if that's 100% true, it's just what I heard. I hope it's not true, but anyway, so they got new eyeshadows, and they're these baked ones, and they're like in this little cute packaging, again with a little bow, and it's just so cute. I love this packaging, um, but here is the color. This is in Mademoiselle, <laughs> Mademoiselle, wait, I can't say that, Mademoiselle, no, Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle, um, so it's just like this really nice purpley burgundy shade and it's really pretty um, I've actually worn it before it doesn't seem to be as pigmented as like the square ones but and then I picked up this one in I only picked up two because I didn't know how good they were gonna be so I didn't want to get ahead of myself but I picked up vortex and this is um, one of those like reddish brown shades you know that I really like and this one is super pretty too so here's Vortex right here. Next two things I picked up are the NYX Baked Blushes. And this says it's a baked blush, illuminator, and a bronzer. And I picked this one up in Chiffon because it reminded me of Max Warm Soul. And I actually have not swatched this, so let's see. Ooh, it's really light. 
There it is right there. It's a really light color. I don't know if that's even going to show up on me. That might just be a, a nice highlight for me. Um, but I picked it up. It, it reminded me of Warm Soul. And now that I'm looking at Warm Soul, it's pretty, pretty close. Um, let me swatch Warm Soul and see. Warm Soul definitely feels softer, but um, there is Warm Soul. So you can see they are pretty close. Safe enough to say it would probably be a pretty decent dupe. So if you cannot afford Warm Soul, pick up Chiffon in the um, NYX Baked Blush. Next blush I picked up was Spanish Rose. And this is just a nice pink shade. Um, let's see how that looks. Ooh, this one's pretty. Seems a little bit chalky, but very pretty. So I picked this up. This was like, I think this was $2.99. And it's the Love in Florence. And it's called Sunsets with Sophia. And it just looks like this. It's got the five different eyeshadows. It's got um, like this one, this black with like the gold sparkles. And then it's got this shimmery color and um, this like champagne -y color. And then this color right here, this like medium brown shade is a matte color. So I thought it had a nice variety of shades and finishes. So I picked that up. Then I picked up this Orly nail color. I thought it was so gorgeous and it was in the clearance section as well. And these are originally, I believe, eight something and I got it for $4.99 so and it was just beautiful I would have paid full price for this I thought it was different I don't have anything like it and I'm actually wearing this in the last two videos I believe so you guys can see that on the nails it's just a beautiful color and it's going to be so pretty when I have a tan for like summer and spring and oh I can't wait for warm weather <laughs> last but not least my mac items it looks like I got a lot of stuff but I really didn't I only got four things, but you know, it adds up really quick. So the first thing I got from MAC is this mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle. Fine. Um, so that's why I wanted to get soft and gentle because it's a nice, uh, well I hear it's nice, and it's a powder. So I wanted a nice powder highlight, and there it is. And let's swatch it. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. There it is, right here beautiful I'll be using this a ton in my tutorials okay then I picked up <laughs> this is like the most random stuff ever I picked up this lipstick in Fleur de Coral and this is from the new flower collection spring flowers I don't even know what it's called uh, but this is just gorgeous it's a luster okay. uh, it's a corally nude shade and it's gorgeous and it's kind of what I got on now oh my gosh I love it it's just so me and it's gorgeous and I love it okay isn't it amazing how makeup can make someone this happy like <laughs> okay um then I picked up this mac eye coal in the color Costa Riche because I saw Jaclyn Hill's tutorial and it looked amazing and it looked like something I would love and let's see oh my gosh it's gorgeous it's a nice reddish brown oh, right up my alley so I am gonna love this this is my first eye cool too so all right and then last but not least I got a brush I don't know why but I wanted a nice blush brush because I've been using this one and it's just so fat and I just kind of wanted something more precise and this one can be used for contouring and it can also be used for blush. So I thought that this would be just a nice brush to use for um, everything. Like you can use it as a highlight. You can use the tip of it and just kind of use it as a highlight. Or you can put it sideways and use it as a contour. Or you can just kind of dab it on your cheekbones and use it as a blush brush. So I thought for the money it was pretty versatile. So that's everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you're not totally hauled out. Thumbs up if you want to see more hauls, if you like these videos. One more thing I forgot to mention, I made a Facebook page. So if you guys want to go like my Facebook page, I'm going to link it right here so you can go like it. That way all my newest videos will show up in my in your news feed and um, you can communicate with me there just because I really check my Facebook more than I check Twitter. So leave your comments below and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.